So we want to change this default home page to our own custom home page. How do we go about doing that? Well, we do this by creating a class or a function based view. So a view means that it's going to handle our request. I'll get into all of that later, but right now what we want to do is just illustrate the purpose that we're doing. Um, so I created a new app called Pages. I added that Pages to Settings Installed Apps. Right, you want to get in the habit of doing that whenever you create new apps, but you should know how to do that by now. That's why I didn't do it. Okay, so inside of views.py, we see that there's nothing in here. This is where you're going to be creating all sorts of things for your pages. Think of views as a place that handle your various web pages. Just think of it that way. Um, and we're going to do this using either functions or classes written in Python. Um, so the first one I'm going to do is just a home page. And basically, it's just a very simple function. It's home. You give it a name, whatever name you want. Um, I would probably say that mostly you'll probably add view to it. Like you're not going to call it home page without view. Right? So I'll get into view and all that stuff later. But let's just call it home view. Okay? Okay. And then it's going to return something. We want it to return some HTML. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to say h1 hello world. Now, um, if you're familiar with Python, you'll know that this is just a very simple Python function. Uh, it's actually nothing in here is related to Django. So we need to change it to be related to Django. Now, this string right here has HTML in it. This is a string of HTML code. It's not actual HTML code. We'll talk about that later. But this is definitely useful if we want to just have one string of HTML code for some reason. But how do I actually make this functional? To do that, we use from django.http import HTTP response. And HTTP response, we can just call with that string of HTML code, just like that. We're really close to making this an actual functional view or a functional page. So I'm going to go ahead and add args and keyword args in here. Um, if you're not familiar with args and keyword args, I definitely recommend that you look that up on Python. This is Python specific. Um, if you're not, don't worry about it. It's okay, you can look it up, but for now we can just play around with this. Okay, so I've now created a function. All this function does is return back some HTML code that says, hello world. But it returns it back in something called an HTTP response. Okay, so let's actually make this work. I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna hope for the best. Refresh here, it doesn't work. Well, what if I try a different page like ABC? That also doesn't work. But it says page not found. And it says something about URLs. Well, this is where we actually wrap in our URLs. This is where URLs comes in. And when we went over the settings, we did mention about the URLs right here. So URLs are in tryjango.urls or otherwise the settings module or the settings folder um, inside of URLs. This configuration folder has settings and URLs in there and it has one that we've already been using, which is admin, but that's the only path it actually has. So now what I want to do is actually import that view to work with my URLs. Now, you already have some of this stuff in here, right? So this is actually written for us. So I can go off of what they have written in a similar fashion by saying from pages, right? So pages would take place of my app, import views. And then I can quite literally add this URL pattern like it says in the code or in the comments there. And I didn't call it home, but instead I called it home view, right? So there we go. I'm just going off of what they've given me, home view and home view. We save that and let's go back to our home page. Hello world. Cool. It's actually working. Um, there's a couple things that I don't particularly think is a good idea with how this is written is that what if I wanted to use the product views then and I went from products import views uh, things get confusing so don't do it this way 
go views, import home view. Import the actual view that you want to use and then just put that down there. Okay, so we save that and what do you know, the same exact response. Wow, that's fairly easy to work with. Not a whole lot going on here. Now there's definitely more that we need to talk about within views themselves as well as URL patterns. So stay with us, make sure you subscribe to get everything and we'll see you next time.